quickly show what we've developed so far on the dashboard um, to demonstrate that we can pull data from the Synergy SIS and display it in a dashboard setting. What I've got so far on my first page is the um, basically the district dashboard. And what you're looking at here, I can see the total number of students enrolled, how many have perfect attendance, the perfect attendance rate. This section in here, the Google Behavior Tracker, is actually totaling a, um, a Google form that is tracking behavior for the school. And over here where it has the SIS behavior count, if a student, for instance, I, I happen to know of a student, um, this student here, but by the way, notice I can double click in my account and, and go to directly to a student. In this particular student, um, I see the attendance, but I see that they have three behavior counts uh, coming out of the um, SIS in uh, Synergy. Again, seeing those counts. So basically, this page is largely uh, just a way to summarize um, behavior and and uh, information. But mostly, this is a, a dashboard for the district level. I can see the enrollment per um, month. I can see the current enrollment. And um, on these, let me see if I switch to this view in here. Those are actually pop-ups. I want to show you in a minute what this looks like on the actual website. So that's the regular dashboard. Now in the student dashboard, what I'm working on pulling in, again, here's where I can drop down, choose to a different student. Again, we can look at that particular student's enrollment percentage. No behavior incidents. But again, if I go to one of these students, again, this particular student, I can see all of the behavior. Notice this also replicates. It's got three SIS behaviors. And then we've got all of these behavior issues that have popped in with this particular student off of. Um, there's a sheet on here that's hidden where it's pulling this data from. In fact, there's a, a lot of hidden sheets here. And the reason for that is, is displaying it off to the uh, website. Um, when I come over here to this August, this is actually the August only attendance. And what you can see here is, um, again, I'm looking at this student in August. He had seven days of enrollment here. This kid has seven days of enrollment there. He's got perfect attendance. This is the enrollment percentage. And what's interesting here is to look at the enrollment percentage in August. Here's the enrollment percentage in September. Notice how it's dropping. Enrollment percentage in October. And then when I come back over here, here's the current enrollment percentage. So basically, as you move your way through the different dashboards, you can see the total number of enrollment um, by grade level and so forth as we move through that. And I've pulled a lot of this data off to the main dashboard. Here's where I can see, again, this graph that shows me my months. We would be building out those out and adding November once the month is over. The other nice thing about this particular dashboard is here's my overall attendance and here it is by grade level but I'm also pulling in the grade level attendance by class. So for an administrator, they can look right away and go, wow, here's, here's a class. I wonder what's going on with this kindergarten class, uh, this teacher's kindergarten class. What do we have in there that's causing that attendance to drop? So again, so far, this is what we've created in the um, uh, dashboard. Well, now this all comes across onto a, a, a dashboard that I've created. Um, inside of the new Google site. So I'm looking at all this data. The spreadsheet is something the, super, the uh, you know, attendant uh, administrator, superintendent might look at. They can ma manipulate things. When I come to the dashboard, now here's what I see on the dashboard. I see a lot of that same information. I have automated this. This is automatically updated out of Synergy every night. So this should be accurate. Um, and when I come down here, I can actually see this spreadsheet. Um, and showing all the data that, that we actually have. In fact, I can go to the student dash here, see what's happening there. I can go to the August and see what's happening there. I can do all that on the, on the website. What I can't do on the website is manipulate the student uh, that's been chosen um, actually on the spreadsheet. So that's what I have on attendance. Then I've pulled over and done a graph, a graphical display of attendance by month 
for the administrator to look at, you know, what, you know, what's happening. I mean, here's an interesting, we had really good attendance in September and October. We really dropped off on our kindergarten attendance. So that's something I might look at. This is an enrollment graph. Shows me now my current enrollment um, by ethnicity and in current enrollment by grade level. And this is all live from the website and current enrollment by gender. Okay. And then we come over here, we are summarizing the behaviors that are pulling into the Google tracking form that's been built for the school. So here we are showing, you know, August, September, October, November. These are the behaviors. So as they add more behavior um, uh, incidents to the tracker, these automatically update on the website without, without really doing anything the way this, this is built. So again, um, a couple other things I've been playing around with to add to this dashboard. This is a, um, a summary sheet I've made using awesome tables. This would be something an administrator could use to do walkthroughs real quick. It's a very simple form and they would fill this out on their phone and then they could take a look at um, their, basically what they're looking at here. This, this was a simple idea of, okay, I look in a classroom and what I'm looking at by teacher grade level, date, day, whatever, I'm looking to see how my, my um, are the teachers on task and are the students on task? It's real simple. Hey, an administrator pokes their head into the door. They look. This is basically just a Google form using awesome tables, um, kind of delving into the actual data that's generated a lot deeper than Google does it. And then um, I also on this website have added a, an FAQ sheet. Again, this is another example of an awesome tables demonstration where um, this is an FAQ, and what's nice about this is as we build FAQs, which I'm doing basically through a Google form, building my FAQs, pulling the data out, and what that does is it, it, it you know, I could build an FAQ about my site. It takes this information. This link would take me to a Zapier, which I'm basically just um, demonstrating is how you use Zapier to do what I'm doing to automate. But then this link here is an actual link to a document I've created that I use the uh, file upload feature of the new Google Sheets. So now as soon as I submit an FAQ, um, I can create a sheet, upload it, and here's my more in-depth answer to the question. So these are some of the things we're working on um, on the uh, attendance dashboard, basically just a, a dashboard for administrators all built with Google tools, all free. Once you, uh, you know, if you have somebody who can build it for you, and basically um, automating a lot of this data coming out of the SIS, especially coming out of Synergy. I hope that's uh, helpful. And uh, um, any questions, you can contact me, uh, Tim Welch at redtailfan.org.